Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, warm-up regulator. We measure pressure and functioning while being mounted. Saves time only on board when parameters are odd. In a previous video we took the WUR completely apart, checked on parameters and functioning, replaced broken parts such as membrane, seals, put it back together and applied pressure to check the ceilings for functioning and bolted it back in. But today we check the functions of a WUR being mounted. This device has to regulate the fuel pressure in a way that more or less fuel according to temperature of the engine arrives at the fuel divider, which ends up in the injectors. Therefore the position of the pin in the fuel divider alters the flow to allow more or less fuel to be pressed to the injectors and how to check on that pressure parameters is today's menu. We start right after introduction. We check pressure here at a M102 engine 4 cylinder. This is a W123 from 1985, the last one with a K Jetronic before KE Jetronic was introduced. WUR is sitting close at hand and easily accessible. Ports can be reached without starting aerobic lessons with chain fonder. In comparison to a M110 engine where this component is in the dungeons of the engine bay. When checking or working on a M110 engine you need a lift to reach that device. We start by determining the pressure within this component which alters the position of that piston here which controls the amount of fuel being pressed to the injectors. And this is what this device is doing according to the temperature of the engine. Therefore this component is either attached to the engine block or in close vicinity to it to feel the heat. We don't need much a hand pump with a pressure gauge and a bridge T-shaped to measure pressure while the WUR is working with a cold and a hot engine. Pressure varies from minimum which is 0.5 bar or 7 psi to an absolute max which is 4.0 bar or 55 psi. Depending on the temperature of the component, during all these years of production this device has undergone many changes. We will deal with this later on. Let us start. 4 cylinder M102 engine, fuel flow divider right here. WUR is sitting right behind the ignition coil and distributor with two ports. This line here is the influx port from the WUR. This here is the line back to the lower chamber of the flow divider. What is what? Here is a chart with a 4 cylinder engine on the left hand side and a 6 cylinder engine M110 on the right hand side. Have a look at the chart. Please. We need to disconnect this fuel line to bridge it with our pressure gauge. It is the influx port from the flow divider. Recommended tool is an open ring spanner using that one here because the cables of the distributor leading to the spark plugs are in the way. Beware of spillage, gurgles and cloth are advisable. Lucky me this car has not been running for some time, therefore no pressure. And right here in between we install our pressure gauge. Just installed and fully connected. Hoses are long in this case because I used a tool for measuring other components as well. A short T-connector would have done the job. Nota bene, we have bridged the fuel line from the flow divider to the WUR to check pressure. We start with parameters. Okay. 
A. Engine cold, way below 35 degrees Celsius. B. Pressure should be very low and should rise with increasing temperature of engine. I'll fire her up. We got some 0.5 bar equivalent to 7 psi which is minimum with increasing temperature of engine so you see right here the needle is moving as we see engine is getting warmer bit by bit pressure of fuel is rising to 1.5 bar or equivalent 22 psi and still rising Check is almost complete. WUR is in good working order. Nothing is worn. Uh, Scott would say so. While we are around, next check is the heating element responding to expectations or not. In addition to that, heat coming from the block. So we pull that plug from the socket. When engine is running, you should be having 12 volts right here. Use a multimeter settings on resistance. Please see picture on the left. Connect to those two flat pins. Resistance of auxiliary heating coil should be around 20 ohm. We got some 26 ohm which is still tolerable. Always depending on the factory settings of the WUR. We now check voltage with running engine. Here we go, 12 volts are on the display, which is perfect. Our accomplishments. Checking pressure of fuel at WUR. If results differ significantly from the specifications indicated or recommended, please listen up. This is off the record good advice. Scenario 1. Engine cold and fuel pressure significantly above 1 bar or 15 psi. Then disconnect the reflux lines. Over years, residue and fuel gunk is clogging and blocking the lines. Unbolt and dismantle the WUR. Scenario 2. Engine cold and fuel pressure way below 0.5 bar or 7 psi means leaking WUR. Unbolt, dismantle, repair with the repair kit or replace. The link below shows the video of unbolting, dismantling and repair of the WUR. Have a look please. Thanks go to my translator for showing up sober today for a change for once. Take care everyone. Bye bye. See you next time with another episode. Thank you for watching.